Hey everyone, this is Ken Michaels. In this video, I want to show you how to get Mobile Renegade up and running. The first thing that you want to do is click on the Stuff tab, then go to Options. This is going to take you to where you can load in your keyword and locations to search. So let's put in a keyword. I'll put in Restaurant. Now we can add a keyword one at a time or add from a list. We could do the same thing with location, so we'll add from a list. So now that we have our locations added, you can decide if you need to use proxies or not. In our example, I'm going to go ahead and use proxies. To use proxies, what you need to do is have them saved to a list or a file, and then just click Load List. I'll bring this into focus. Select your proxy list, and here we have our proxies added. Yellow book or yellow pages has several blocking mechanisms in place to keep anyone from gathering too much data or scraping too much data from their site. So depending on how much you're searching, you may need to use proxies. So if you're a heavy user, then you might need to consider getting proxies to search because Yellow Book will block your IP if you're searching too quickly or too much and in another video covering proxies I'll break down how to decide if you need to use them or not now let's move over to our search options the first option that you have is how many pages would you like to search I usually like to leave mine between 10 and 20 what this means is how many pages deep do you want to search yellow pages each page consists of 30 leads so if you search 10 pages you're asking mobile renegade to bring back up to 300 listings or 300 leads per search you're allowed to search up to 100 pages deep now this is a limitation placed on by yellow pages not mobile renegade so you can search up to 100 pages deep but again, I like to keep mine between 10 and 20 pages, and that seems to be where most of the relevant and leads that are actually paying Yellow Pages reside. Choice of service, the only one that you have available right now is the USA. At a later date, you can watch the video if you're in another country and we release it to outside the US, you can just select the country that is available main threads is how many connections would you like to make to yellow pages at one time gathering your listings or leads I like to keep mine between 10 and 20 again what you want to do is find out what works best for your connection your internet and if you're using proxies or not if you're not using proxies I would suggest keeping this at right around 10 threads Mobile threads, you can have higher. I usually keep mine between 80 and 99. And I put my mobile time out around 45. Again, a lot of these settings are going to depend on your internet connection. How fast your internet connection is. If you think you have a slow connection, you could try putting mobile threads at about 40 or 50. If you have a broadband connection, I think you're safe to put that between 80 and 99 and I would again put the mobile time out right around 45 seconds but these are all settings you can play with if you choose to you have the option to only search for leads that have a website and only search for leads that have an email address recovery timeout is how many seconds would you like mobile renegade to stop in between putting leads between QA and QB I'll explain that in more detail here in a little bit but for right now I would just go ahead and keep that on 60 seconds now that we have our search settings set and our keywords and locations added we can hit apply now we'll click start the first thing that I want to point out is QA and QB QA is the number of pages that we still have left to search. Remember, there's 30 leads 
per page. So what's happening in QB is we're taking pages from QA, extracting out those leads, and that makes up QB. The most important thing that you need to know is when QA reaches zero and QB reaches zero, the program is done searching. We also have the total number of leads and the total number of leads that have an email address. Now you can see we're getting leads back into the grid. In just a moment, we're going to take those leads and mobile check them. So that's not done yet. Everything in Mobile Renegade works off of threads. So when one set of threads kicks in, and basically threads are individual connections. So once one series of threads finishes its job, another set of threads come in or start up to do another job. So here we have the mobile check taking place and you see that's one of the reasons why mobile renegade is as fast as it is is because we're able to use multiple threads. Now some of the information that we have here we'll just go over it real quick. We have the mobile information, business name, address, city, state, and zip with the phone number, fax number, email address if it's available, website if it's available, the yellow pages information we'll just scroll over here so this is the information that we have available in Mobile Renegade you can see we're still getting leads in so fast that it locks up the grid a little bit so what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause this so we can work with our leads a little bit better okay so the first thing that you want to know is how to clean up your leads once you get them. Now, cleaning up with Mobile Renegade is extremely easy and extremely efficient. What you want to do is we have our grid controls. Select either sort or clean. If we want to clean our grid, we just click clean, then click on the column header. That's going to give you the option to either remove blank lines or remove duplicates we'll go ahead and remove duplicates because you're not really going to get any blank lines in the business name so now we removed all duplicate records let's go over to email address now we didn't let it stay running long but we were able to get 21 email addresses so that's fine for what we want to do right here we'll select remove blanks that's going to get rid of every listing that didn't have an email address and you can see how fast it was able to do that let's do the same thing with website we'll get rid of every listing that doesn't have a website. So now we're left with only leads that have an email address and a website and all duplicates removed. These are the type of leads that we want to contact. So once we have that, we can go ahead, take these leads, and we can import or export them. And that's going to import or export in CSV format so you could take those leads and put them in any spreadsheet like Excel or OpenOffice and you could work with them or send them to maybe a VA or a call center that you have. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll import these leads or export these leads. You'll see this, this pop up here. We'll select no because we'll leave our, our leads. We'll put test one and hit save. Now if we hit start over that's going to clear out our grid but let's go ahead and import those leads back in real quick and you can see how easy and fast that was done. Now we have our leads here and I stopped it before our mobile check could get in you know kick in and get all the leads checked. So we could always go to stuff then mobile check we'll unpause now that's going to kick in in just a moment and it's going to mobile check the rest of these leads for us and you can see how fast it was able to do that so now that we have our leads checked what we can do is double click on any of these leads and that's going to take us to their website as well as bring up their yellow pages listing so if we wanted to get additional information that's all we had to do to bring up their website 
or maybe if we wanted to check something out on Yellow Pages, we could do that. We also have another option, and I'm going to bring in the grid a little bit to show you this. And I think this is really cool. I mean, this is something that Rick was working on for a while, and it's really innovative. And I, I just haven't seen this anyplace else. You have the option to run your own mobile emulator. I'm going to bring this into focus. What we can do with this is double click on any lead now. Once the emulator's showing, and you'll see here that brings it up in the emulator and that you know shows us exactly what their mobile website looks like. So we can see here that they do have a mobile website. It says yes. Let's go to another one. Now if you've already jumped ahead of me a little bit, you see this little capture button? Well, what we can do with this is hit capture. This is going to take a screenshot of this phone. And what we can do is we'll name this one test one as well. We'll save it and I'm going to bring up and we can see here it saved the screenshot or screen capture of the phone. What you can do with this is take this screenshot put it in the email and send it directly to the business owner showing them exactly what their website looks like inside a mobile browser. So we'll close this and we can do that with any one of these listings. Let's just click on another one. So here we have another website. All we have to do is click capture. that will bring up a save dialog. Test 2. Click save. Now we have that screen capture. Now what I would do is go through here, get the ones that I want, and then structure my email and send that screenshot out in the email. So we have we have that built in to Mobile Renegade. So all you have to do to close it is click Show Mobile Emulator again. That's going to bring up, or that's going to get rid of it. Now all we have to do is double click if we wanted to go back to the original way of bringing up their website and Yellow Pages listing. It's extremely easy to also sort with Mobile Renegade. Just click Grid Controls, select Sort, and now we can sort through any of our columns. I'm going to click Start Over again. Now we're going to import a list of domains. We'll go to Stuff, Domain List, then find the domains that we want to import. Once they're imported into Mobile Renegade, all we have to do is click on Start. That's going to check each and every one of those domains to find out if it's mobile ready or not. That's how you get Mobile Renegade up, generating leads, checking mobile websites. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can visit our help desk or submit a support ticket. Also, please let me know any feature requests you might have. Take care.